today's leadership principle will be faithful leader. I'll be reading from Luke chapter 12, verse 47 and verse 48. The servant who knows the master's will and does not get ready or does not do what the master wants will be beaten with many blows. But the one who does not know and does things deserving punishment will be beaten with few blows. From everyone who has been giving much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. Jesus has just told of a parable about being ready for his return. His disciple Peter asked if the parable was just for them or for everyone. Jesus replied with another parable in which he defines the faithful and wise manager as one who gives out food and other allowances at the proper time. When the master returns, Jesus said, and finds the faithful servant managing his resources well, he put him in charge of all of his possessions. If we go back up and read from verse 42 to verse 44, then we see that how Jesus explained that. As leaders, we have been entrusted with certain things and faithfulness requires that we manage those things wisely, faithfully and unselfishly. In the parable, the Lord says that his servants will one day give an account to him. Jesus is giving a parable about servants who manage a house when the master is away. Those who have more knowledge of what Christ requires and the reasons for those requirements have a greater responsibility to act upon these things. Some leaders will misbehave badly in ways we can't imagine. Actually, some will beat other servants just for the fun of it, as well as getting drunk and so on. When the master comes home, he will punish. If you see the scripture, it says, beat them with many blows, those who knew their duties and refused to do it. The idea of to whom much is given, much will be required, is that we are held responsible for what we have. We have been given the privilege of leading. We need to be faithful to our assignment. If we are blessed with talents, wealth, knowledge, times, and, and the like, it is expected that we use this well to glorify God and benefit others. As a leader, are you faithful in your service? Are you being a good example to others, especially to those who serve under you? Praise God and thank Him for putting you in a leadership position and giving you the unique talents to serve Him. Ask the Lord to give you the love to serve Him faithfully as a leader. Pray for strength to lead as a good leader and be a good example to others. The obvious application for leaders is their calling to take care of the flock or the church while the master is on a long trip. Since each of us has been given a function within the body of Christ, God expects each one of us to function in our areas of giftedness as faithful stewards of God's good gifts. I challenge you to really focus and understand the important responsibilities that has been given to you as a leader. It is 
very important that we be faithful to the Master and be ready for His return one day. When that day is here, will He be happy with our work? Blessings. Thank you.